What's good guys, we are back with another tactic from the always amazing GYR and today we have a V2 of a very popular 4-2-3-1 tactic. It is Deadpool time ladies and gentlemen and it is back for a version 2, the most updated version on the newest match engine. In testing we gave this to Dinamo Zagreb over in Croatia, they won a domestic treble. We gave it to RB Leipzig in Germany, they won the Bundesliga and our elite tier test was with Manchester City because if if it doesn't work with City, it ain't gonna work with anybody else. And as you can see, they absolutely cleaned house, winning every single trophy on offer whilst winning the Premier League with 97 points. This is how things looked in the Prem. Erling Haaland scoops that golden boot. Lots of Manchester City players with that highest average rating. The same with the assists as well. 15 assists for Carl Walker, 13 for KDB. 16 clean sheets for Edison as well, which is pretty good. Uh, but it is Man City, so this is kind of what you would expect. 31 wins, 4 draws, 3 losses. Those 3 losses coming uh, at home against Bournemouth. I imagine that's a surprise one. And then away to Arsenal and away to Chelsea. If we have a look at the schedule, guys, you can kind of see how emphatic this tactic has been throughout the course of the season. Yeah, okay, there's a couple of losses in there, uh, like uh, Champions League group stages and stuff like that. But ultimately... It's absolutely killed it. This has all been done via simulation as well. So if we go on the data hub, guys, you can see the general performance of this tactic with Manchester City, averaging 2.87 goals per game, 2.69 non-penalty XG, which is really, really good. High number of shots per game, good uh, shots on target ratio. That percentage of just under or just over 44 and a half is super, super good as well. And as you can see here, we're performing well above average statistically, which is great to see scores a high number of goals per 90 minutes compared to the average and completes a relatively average percentage of passes which is not too bad at all you'd like to outscore your average i would definitely say if we go and have a look at the tactic in the game though this is what it looks like gyr's deadpool version 2 and if we quick pick without restriction the best 11 this is the manchester city team in their particular roles now you can see with some of the stats on the right hand side of the screen erling Haaland, 59 goals in all competitions for him there were six 16 for Jack Grealish, 14 for Bernardo Silva, 18 for Jeremy Doku, uh, 19 for Julian Alvarez as well. So there's lots of goals in and around this team. Uh, and basically what this tactic looks to do is kind of replicate a 4-2-3-1 that the game loves. The game loves the defensive midfielder this year. But instead, we're going to try with two central midfielders on defensive duty. So that is the balance of this. Obviously, we've seen version one of Deadpool. This is version two. I'm going to go through everything that you need to get this tactic in your save but if you are on pc and mac we always leave a link to download the tactics in that comment set or in that description and watch it down there i will also leave links to the tactic creator gyr please do go and show him some love as we get to the end of the fm24 game cycle i'm sure just like you i am very much geared towards fm25 now we're looking forward to it maybe you could use this in one last hurrah one last save that you're going to try so starting off in goal we have edison who is a sweeper keeper on defensive duty now moving into the back four we have slightly different instruction sets on these fullbacks they are both wing backs on support duty in the right back spot we have take more risk cross more often dribble more stay wider and tackle harder they are the additional ones you need to add guys via the edit menu the additional ones in this setup are going to be with the ones with the white cog and the red circle if you need to pause the video at any time to make sure you get the right instruction set please please do so you get to them via the edit menu and then you can see here we've got stay wider tackle harder cross more often take more risk dribble more usually goes to show that they have the green outlines around them for the most part and then the additional instruction that you need on the left back is cross from the byline this will make sure that when Gavardio in this particular instance he is trying to really push up here when he does deliver his crosses they're not going to be from deep they are going to be from the byline the two center backs are both ball playing defenders guys not uh, with uh, the additional instruction of tackle harder on these two and because they usually have dribble more on them they don't have it this time because these two will occupy a similar space now I said in the intro there are no defense defensive midfielders here but these two kind of do act as defensive midfielders in a way fm24 loves a dm if you haven't noticed that one already but these are central midfielders on defensive duty take more risks and tackle harder on these guys on the wings in the attacking third we have two inside forwards on attack duty sit narrower and tackle harder on the pair of those and then the man in the middle is an advanced midfielder sorry an attacking midfielder on attack duty with take more risks move into channels and tackle harder and then completing things 
Mullings is the big man up front. Advance forward on attack. Tackle harder. You don't need anything else in this year's game. All other striker roles are obsolete in my opinion um moving into the tactical style guys we get asked this question all the time it doesn't really matter any one of these will do as long as you follow the steps that i'm about to give you you can put park the bus it doesn't matter because it won't be a park the bus because the first thing you need to change is the mentality which is an attacking mentality in possession this is how we are set up guys fairly wide in terms of that attacking width our approach play is set to pass into space focusing play down both the left and the right hand side shorter passing directness and that higher tempo cranked all the way up to the top low crosses in that final third and we are set to run at the defense in terms of our dribbling style in transition this is how we are set up as well when possession has been lost we're set to counter press when possession has been won we are set to counter and despite these two central midfielders on defensive duty you will see them getting involved in things as well as you can see rodri's got five goals kdb's got himself eight goals as well the goalkeeper is set to distribute the ball quickly to those center backs via the distribution type of rolling it out to make sure you maintain possession but we're looking to turn over the pace pretty darn quickly with this one and out of possession guys this is how we are set up high press with that line of engagement a much higher defensive line set to trigger press much more often and prevent that short goalkeeper distribution and we're also going to take it one step even further by getting the defensive line to step up more they are basically going to play on the halfway line you are very much going to be on the front foot you are going to be the aggressor with this tactic and as you can see in the testing it did absolutely superbly we're going to pass this one over to you guys now if you want to see more tactics on fm24 check out this playlist popping up right here it's all the tactics that we've released on this year's game